Watch, Thregudi exposes the DNC's deepest, darkest secret. Again and again, the Democrats' Russia myth keeps getting debunked. With each new revelation, the left looks increasingly ridiculous. The whole country knows that Dems are making it all up to avoid accepting their own faults as a party. Rep. Thregudi, RSC, Master Prosecutor and Patriot Champion, is exposing the DNC for the criminal enterprise it is. Goody destroys the leftist narrative with one masterful question why didn't the DNC ever turn over their hacked servers to the DHS and FBI for analysis? The left likes to keep the Russia collusion story purposefully vague so they can make it mean whatever they want. Any link between a Trump team individual and a Russian person can be spun into evidence of collusion. But what collusion occurred? In what way was Hillary Clinton's campaign hindered by Russian agents? The only instance in which Democrat chances of winning were damaged in any way by an outside party was in the leaking of embarrassing DNC emails on WikiLeaks. These leaks are the basis for the entire leftist Russia conspiracy theory. We patriots know it wasn't a hack at all that made the emails available to WikiLeaks. A DNC staffer named Seth Rich leaked the damning info when he saw the corruption in his own party. Nevertheless, the Democrat Party maintains that it was a hack carried out by Russia, even though there's never been any conclusive evidence that the Russian government ever got into DNC servers. We just have to take the DNC's word for it. If the DNC email servers truly were hacked by Russia, wouldn't they want to help the federal government carry out justice? Wouldn't they want the Russians stopped? Wouldn't they want their system strengthened, so a similar hacking doesn't happen again? After all, the Democrats are making this out to be the biggest scandal of the century. Crazy liberals, like Maxine Waters are using the Russia narrative to call for Trump's impeachment. If it was as bad as they assert, wouldn't the logical response be to help the government fight the criminals that supposedly made them lose the election? As Congressman Goody points out, the DNC has been completely uncooperative. Their behavior indicates they have no desire for the issue to be resolved. Apparently, they don't want bad guys to be caught. That's what the DNC shows in its refusal to turn over its servers to the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI. The FBI would examine the servers to identify better who carries out the supposed hacks. The DHS says it could help the DNC strengthen its servers to prevent future hacking. It would be in everyone's interest for the DNC to cooperate with the federal government. But they never wanted to cooperate even when asked by Obama's DHS Secretary Jay Johnson. Thregudi comes to the only logical conclusion the DNC's refusal to hand its servers over to the DHS and FBI means they are trying to hide something. There's something on those servers they don't want to federal government to see. The Democrat Party is the nation's biggest criminal enterprise. The last thing the DNC wants is for its dirty secrets to see the light of day. Sooner or later, the truth will come to light. The party of the left is imploding.